This week we used the flight scope to see what the effect would be of hitting the ball from a clean lie and then out of a divot. And as you can see with the 7 iron, the difference was, was over 30 yards, which is really a lot. Uh, to be fair, we did use a kind of a deep divot. Um, so the distance uh, was, was, was quite a lot different. And then the smash was different because uh, smash means the cleanness of the strike. So it, became, it, it went from 1.3 to 1.2. And then because we try to, you need to punch the ball out of a divot, so the ball's going to start lower and it's also going to not gain the same height as a normal shot would. Okay, so when lying in a divot, you've obviously got a few options. You, you, you can see you do need more club to get to the shot, but if the divot's too deep, it's probably a better idea just to, to take more loft to get it out the divot and get it back into play. The way to play the shot would be, like I said earlier, a punch shot. So you're going to start from the ball a little bit more back in your stance. And then that should create a little bit of a steeper angle of approach. A steeper angle of approach just means you're hitting a little bit more down on the shot. So you, know, you can pick up your hands a little bit quicker. And then you can hit a little bit down on it. The short punchy follow through. Definitely not the same high follow through as what you would need for a, to try and hit a higher shot. And then the ball should come out a lot lower and, and stay quite quite low because of the punch shot. And uh, you're probably going to lose some backspin because you're not going to get a clean strike. Um, again, in a divot, just make sure that you get the ball back in play.